We've got this battery. It's a Parkside X20 volt team, uh, four amp hour battery, PAP 20 A3. So I was using it in my lawnmower the other day and the lawnmower started beeping. I thought, hang on a sec, what's going on here? Uh, checked and it said battery low. Uh, one battery had uh, two bars, so nearly halfway full, and this one was red. So I put it in the charger and um, as you can see here, put it in the charger and I thought it's going to charge, but no, both lights start flashing. That means it, you know, there's something wrong with the battery and can't charge it. So I contacted Lidl, who I bought it off because I didn't have the receipt. It has a three year warranty, so I found them up, customer services. They were quite decent, taking details down and said they'll get back to me shortly. The next morning i got an email saying they need to pass on my details to parkside and for me to confirm that it is okay for them to do that so once i agreed to that they sent off that email to parkside parkside contacted me two days later and basically went through some details and they said they're going to send out a replacement battery i think it was five days it took for the replacement battery to turn up and when it did I mean, look, look at the state of my battery and this is what they said look at the state of that one I don't know if you can see it properly but it's filthy I don't know what they've been doing with it it's like a lot of dirt I mean it works fully charged but I don't know. It's like they had it lying around, they've been using it and they just thought hang on a sec, just give it give that to them. Not a new one. So same it looks like a newer model. PAP twenty B3 and A3 is the one I had. So just to clean things up. I'm going to take the cover off this and put the cover from that one onto there and uh, see how it goes. Let's see. Well, let's take it apart and see if it is that easy. And there's uh, four screws here. Uh, they're torque screws. They're T10 screws. Let's remove these. They're using Parkside INI E650E 2000 milliamp batteries. That should actually pop up. There you go. You can actually get these batteries replaced. Uh, these are actually looking like Samsung batteries. INR. Yeah, they are Samsung batteries. But it's as a park side. So, my connectors, my circuit board. And if you focus properly, let's try focusing. There's uh, 10 batteries. So, 10 times 3.7 is. Okay, 37.5. So you can handle 40 volts, but it's using 2 times 3.75. Okay. Just, uh, let's see. I'm going to get to dismantling them later. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. 
see if it, this model A3 versus B3 is replaceable. Am I even getting through? No. Yep. Can't go through. Being blocked by that. Needs uh, extra long. T10 bits. Or well, extra thin. This might fit. Yep, it does. So I'm able to unscrew this. My normal screwdriver simply doesn't fit through there because it gets stopped here. There's a crevice here, the lip, which stops this from going through. And this actually goes through. Let's try it on this bit. That's not going through. Maybe this. No, nope. as you can see, it doesn't go through. So I've still got a problem. Well, that's not going through. Uh, how do you uh, open this? Ah, there you go. Got that one. So that works. So if you, we've removed the screws and I want to see if this fits. If this is the same. Are the screws in the same position? Yep. Yep. Now I need to compare this to this. So uh, on this one, the actual LED is attached to the, as you can see, everything else looks identical. They're using wind power batteries. So I guess uh, they use whatever batteries they can find. It's a 7.4 watt hour battery, 3.7 amps, milliamp hours. Sun power by wind power. Exactly what amp uh, battery this is, I don't know. Okay, so this should fit in. This one. Everything looks identical. Put that in there. And does it fit? It's a bit of a snug fit. Is there any difference between these two? I do see a slight difference. See that bit here? And that one doesn't have that bit. Let's try this first. Okay. So on this, these bits are different also. I might have to swap it over, see if that works. Push it in more. If it goes in more. It's not going in. Doesn't actually fit. Doesn't actually fit. Let's try this one.
look you can't actually swap between the two designs models I uh, need to get this out so, that's wrong this color there you go it's back in uh, just screw it back in okay that's in I'll keep this here for the time being Get my impact driver. If the battery is still working, charge indicator shows it is. Take it up to okay, that's working. And it's still charging. Yep, that's charging. Yeah, that one's good. Now there's a trick, apparently. It might be just one battery that's bad in the whole bunch of 10. I'm gonna try and uh, replace these batteries. I've done, I haven't done any battery welding and it can be dangerous with uh, lithium ion batteries. And I'm gonna try and figure out what I can do. I'll put that back in. There we go, it's back in. I'm going to screw this back in and I'm going to try this trick which I picked up along the way where you supply 1.5 volts for extended period and you might actually charge the battery a bit to the stage where you can uh, recharge the battery in the charger. Try that. Dead. I'll try and charge it one last time before I attempt to replace the battery. No, oh, that's not charging. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna make another video on how to replace the battery on this. I don't think you should attempt that by yourself unless you know what you're doing.